In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, the house build is finally moving along with all our plumbing and in-floor heat installed, and we take some time to play tourist for a weekend when some of our best friends come up for a quick weekend visit. Afternoon wood. Not morning wood, it's afternoon wood. We got wood. Woohoo! That's kind of cool. Winter's coming. Well, actually, fall is making a quick turn. It's obvious. The trees are, are turning colors. The wind's blowing. There's a chill in the air. Um, we got wood today. All right. Hopefully, framing tomorrow. Bam, 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 bam. And right now, working on uh, moving from a shed to port a shed. Stuff that we can stay out, you know, whether. I don't know. Making it work. Ah. Easy way to cut foam board. Get the insulation going underneath the motorhome. Gotta keep the breeze out, keep it a little bit warmer. It's gotta get cold. With winter fast approaching, it was time to start winterizing the disco. First up was protecting our underbelly to keep the floors warmer and our tanks protected from freezing winds. Living on an active construction job site, we used what was left with our insulation foam boards to get the job started. What do you think? It's a start. Yeah. Works. Keep us warmer. Let's see important. Yep. Gonna do that. Then they're pretty good. I don't know what it means. Forgot what LVL stands for. But these are our for our 16 foot walls in the garage. They're LVL studs. They're engineered studs. They're not just cut from a, like like that. No. They're like laminated. For strength and they're straight and stronger. So for our big tall walls we got good good studs. Looks like they pre-cut everything so they can just lay out the pattern here soon and go. So today is September 22nd. First day of fall. First full day of fall and first day the framers have arrived. You look. Oh yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Gary has been busy all day uh, buttoning up underneath the motorhome to create a wind barrier with a uh, high density foam foam board. And uh, it's been fun. I'm really glad you're doing it though, and I appreciate it. I know you do. It's going to keep us warmer. This morning I also put reflex up in the windshields and some of the windows to help keep in the heat and uh, drive out the cold. It's that time of year. You gotta think about it. It well, is. We have to think about that. The guys in the lower 48, you guys are still basking in sunshine, like right? 85 degrees in some places. You're you know? having your your nice continuing summer with a full fall evenings and cool mornings. Yeah, but our 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 fall evening or our, our cool mornings start out at 22 degrees. Yeah. It's a little chilly this morning. Uh, was That's it a, 22 or 26? Uh, 22. I said when I left, it was 22. Ooh. Yeah. In your truck. Yeah, well, the truck said 22. Yeah. The Which, house said 26. So the house, is, the thermometer in the house is like right next to the motorhome, right? Right next to the So motorhome. it has a little thermal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the um, 
we'll go over to the living room and check out the view and see what it looks like over on the mountains. What do you think, Spirit? Huh? As you can see, we've got a good little lumber yard going on. A little bit of firewood here, too. As they are preparing, uh, they did line in all the walls this morning on the slab so we can actually really see our rooms like right now i'm in the hall hallway it's definitely uh beautiful out here it is and the snow oh my gosh the snow in the last few days has sure climbed down the mountain however everybody i've been talking to is saying that this is not the norm fairly unusual for the snow to be this low so so early as you can see here, we've got a big, beautiful slab. And uh, within probably a couple days, we'll have walls and the trusses will be delivered soon. And uh, yeah, it's all coming together, really exciting. We are also time-lapsing this build. Um, it's eating through my GoPro batteries. I gotta figure a different solution, but I'm just rotating them out through the charger and. Hope to get most build days as this uh, grows and we get walls. Yeah, you're gonna probably have to uh, change location of the camera next, real soon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna move it around. Yeah. So, all right, well, I just thought I'd come out and get an update. We haven't vlogged much on the build because I'll be honest, we haven't seen much action. It's uh, been a lot of- It's been about a month since anything's happening. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the slab was poured on August 27th and today is September 22nd, so. It's been a while. It's been a while, but it's good. Progress. Finally. And winter's coming. Well, it's September 23rd and they are raising the first wall. This wall is 50 feet in length and 16 feet tall. Wow. Good morning. I know I haven't recorded much because uh, it's always like we're waiting, 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 and then something happens and then we're waiting again. And I don't want to record when the workers are on site. We are time lapsing, so you'll be able to see the, the build in a time lapse video. But uh, good morning. Today is September 28th. It's cool, it's crisp, it's about 21 degrees. It's cold, uh, but the sun is up, everything's warming up, and we have a house, or at least we have the main level. Today, they will start working on the second story above the living quarters, and we're super excited about it. So I thought I'd uh, just do a quick walkthrough of what we've got so far. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. All right, so here is the lumber yard, basically all the lumber for the jobs just hanging out in the driveway. I am standing at the front door, which is 
right here that will be our front entry and then right to my left here is our two-car garage for our daily drivers gary has a ram 3500 truck and i have a uh, grand uh, cherokee jeep so this is where they will be housed and we're going to just go in here and go through the mud room into the back of the living quarters this area we're going to have a nice little bench seat and a place to hang our jackets and then right through here this is going to be our main pantry because we live quite a ways out from town we're going to you know we go into anchorage do our big shops this is what will hold all of our food and it's rather large it's six feet by i think 14 12 or 14 and we'll have a nice window looking out our backyard here sorry it's really the sun's low right now because well it's warning it just uh came up about an hour ago we are losing daylight so quick right now already uh but hi sophie how's your feet so this door right here will go right into the kitchen of the house. And this is our kitchen area. We are gonna have a day pantry for just everyday items that we get into versus having to go into the big pantry. Um, this wall will be double ovens and a refrigerator, freezer, and a little counter. Over on this wall is gonna be the range stove and more cabinetry and then we're gonna have an l-shaped island right here in the center of the kitchen and that's gonna butt up to our living room which is right here our living room is 20 feet tall for the ceilings and all windows there'll be a slider here huge window huge window and all windows and same over here all windows all windows and we'll have a wood fire a uh, wood stove fireplace in this corner. That's gonna just be secondary backup heat and ambiance. Uh, but yeah. And then as we look back towards the house over here, uh, this is our master bathroom or bedroom here in this area. And to get there, you're gonna go down the hall and then in. And this is our stairwell that will go up to a second story over the kitchen area here that's going to be a rec room uh like our den that's where our big tv will be and comfy chairs because the view up there is going to be amazing and hopefully by the end of the day today we'll be able to get up there and look around and over the master bedroom and my office which is just on the other side of the entryway there's going to be two bedrooms on each side and in the middle is a uh, Jack and Jill bathroom. So let's go down the hallway. I gotta get underneath the board. They've got all the walls really supported right now because the second story is going up today. So again, this space right here, this will be the stairwell to go upstairs. And here is the, I'm gonna put this out in wide mode since we're getting in smaller quarters. This is the front door area entry. And as you come in, there's a hallway to the living room and kitchen. Again, this is our master bedroom right here. We'll have a door out to our own private uh, patio. And over here is our master bath area. We have a toilet closet, or water closet, this area here for either a freestanding bath or a set-in bathtub. Haven't quite made up my mind yet. Uh, this is our huge shower. We love big showers. You know, we're married. We like to shower together. So this has got plenty of room. Uh, I'd say it's well over five feet in diameter and then straight across from the shower is our sink area we'll be able to put double sinks in very easily lots of room and then this is going to be our master closet and laundry 
So right here will be a laundry counter sink and washer dryer and then huge space for laundry. Upstairs again, there'll be a Jack and Jill bedroom uh, bathroom directly above our bathrooms here. And then there'll be a bedroom above the master uh, bath and then another bedroom over my office. We'll go over to the office now. Go out our bedroom door. Again, for reference, there is the front door. And then right around this corner is the entrance into my office. Nice big windows. And then we have two individual closets. And the reason why we did that, this will also be my mother's uh, guest room when she comes to stay. She doesn't do stairs. So I will share my office space with her when she comes. So we'll have one closet for guests, one closet for my stuff. And then we're gonna leave the house and go out into the shop. Oh, and right here is, this is a half bath for the main floor. So people don't have to run into our bathroom or um, upstairs. So now we're leaving the house and going into the shop space. This is going to be a shop bathroom for Gary. So if he's dirty, he doesn't have to come all the way in. And this is going to be his heated, insulated, conditioned workshop. And uh, kind of every man's dream to have a workshop. He was worried that I took too much for the master closet out of his workshop but i think he's got plenty of room we have a man door to go outside if we wish and then over here we have a roll-up door garage door that we're going to put in and so if he wants to work on toys atvs even a vehicle he can roll it into here and stay warm out here we're calling this the toy shed this is where all our atvs we have two side by sides a wheeler and we've got some snow machines on the way. So this is gonna be their home, garage space, undercover. And uh, yeah, so the toy box or the toy shed, whatever you wanna call it. And then over here, this is the RV shop and boat shop. Um, it is a 40 by 50 foot space, so perfect for any big rigged vehicles such as our motor home and our boat. And over here is our mechanical room. This is where all the electrical, the water, the boilers, all that will come into the house and feed the entire house. So that in a nutshell is our brand new building. It seems huge. It, you know, it's three shops basically, or three, shop spaces or garage spaces and a house and i think it's going to work perfect for us and at this point my fingers are frozen so i'm going to let you go i also want to get back inside i don't want to be here when the workers show back up they already showed but they like had a little powwow and i think they went to breakfast tried to go get warm let things heat up a little bit with the sun before they come out uh, and spend the day putting up the second story. So we'll check in again when we get a little bit farther down with progress on the house. All right, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Here we are, oh my God, sunset, September 28th, standing in our rec room, in our den. Why are you filming me? I don't know. The best stuff is that. I don't need to be on camera, look at that.
On October 1st, our house finally came to life when the boom truck arrived and the trusses took flight over our property. As we watched what was once a pencil drawing on scrap paper to an actual building standing tall before us, Gary and I couldn't be happier with our decision to leave everything we've ever known down in Washington and start over with a new life here in Alaska. Twenty twenty one was a difficult build year with supply chain issues, crazy lumber prices, labor shortages, and everything else that came with the year. But we couldn't be happier with the result. Stay tuned for more of our build where we take it from a building to our home. Now, please enjoy our 10 day time lapse where our Houston hideaway comes to life.
time on Living Free Alaska, with Mother Nature constantly showing us who is boss, we finally get dried in with the roof getting completed, the insulation started, and our windows installed. Then, when the snow arrives, we share what it is like living on the homestead in our RV while waiting for the shop house to reach a stage to move inside. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.